Hi everybody, my name is Amanda Batista with Demand Gen Report. Today we're joined by a very special guest via Skype. Jeff Aramusby is the president of Manicore Technology, which is a SaaS provider of marketing automation. Jeff, thanks very much for joining us today. My pleasure, Amanda. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So Manicore Technology is going to be a sponsor of our upcoming Content to Conversion Conference, April 24th in New York City. We're very excited to have you and the Manicore team as part of the event. Um, and, and you know, uh, there's there's a, a really enhanced focus on content marketing, obviously, and that's why we're hosting our event. So can you tell us about some of the content marketing trends that you're seeing at Manicore? Sure. We're, um, I mean, obviously, you guys are taking advantage of, I think, what is uh, a really significant trend right now in B2B marketing, um, and that is absolutely the utilization of content uh, by B2B marketers in order to allow them to... Um, uh, you know, better engage with their clients in kind of a digital conversation or their prospects in a digital conversation. Um, we're seeing it as clearly something that every single one of our customers is talking about um, in some level of detail. Um, some are more successful at it than others, uh, obviously. Uh, but, you know, we're starting to really see um, a large number of customers begin to fully take on the whole sort of mission of utilizing content to fully engage with their customers. And, you know, we're even seeing it in areas where people perhaps have not been great online marketers in the past, but we're seeing them, um, they are people who have always been sort of content marketers, but maybe more in a print world. And as an example, we're seeing that, for instance, in some of, you know, the old school kind of manufacturing uh, organizations uh, who had a lot of good material about how best to use their products, why their products were very good, but in fact, maybe their buyers weren't really moving more towards an online purchase process. Well, now that they are, they're realizing they need to get in gear and to kind of move in that direction. And so we're starting to see some really interesting trends happen um, with some, some people that you perhaps would not expect to be kind of leading edge content marketers. Yeah, you know, Jeff, you make a good point. Uh, content marketing is not just a hot topic in B2B. I mean, B2C brands are, are looking to leverage it as well for their customers. Uh, and, and, you know, when we take it a step further in B2B, however, we're talking about integrating it with marketing automation to really understand from a measurement perspective, ultimately, how it's really impacting campaigns. So can you speak to how to integrate content marketing into overall marketing automation? Sure. I mean, you know, we look at, you know, if marketing automation is a platform that allows you to really fully engage uh, with your customers um, and do that in a, you know, a digital way. Um, and so, you know, you kind of think of it as this engine uh, that allows you to drive leads, turn them into prospects, hopefully turn them into, you know, fully qualified opportunities, and then ultimately turn them over to your sales team where they ultimately become, uh, where they ultimately become customers. Um, if, if marketing automation is the engine, um, you know, really content is the fuel. Um, you know, you can't be effective with a marketing automation platform, um, at least to its fullest extent, unless you're really taking advantage of utilizing content to create this conversation uh, with, your, um, with, with your prospects and, and ultimately with your customers. In fact, it's really important even after the sale. Um, because, uh, you know, after the sale, um, you're, you're very much focused, uh, uh, you know, around maintaining that relationship. And so many of us today, um, you know, when we sell to somebody, we're not done selling. We have to do it on an ongoing basis. So, you know, for us, the marketing automation platform is sort of um, the capability that allows you to deliver that content. You know, we like to say that, you know, you could have the best content in the world. If you don't have a way to deliver it, um, it's not going to be very effective. Uh, you could also have the best technology in the world, but if you can't put the right uh, kind of content that engages your prospects through uh, that technology, it's pretty worthless as well. So, you know, there's a real yin and yang uh, symbiotic relationship between content and marketing automation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Dimension Report and Manicore actually collaborated on a really interesting study last year. We sought to really understand some of the key content marketing trends uh, among B2B marketers. So something interesting that we found, 31% of respondents indicated that they currently measure and attribute the impact of specific content. And then more than half, actually almost 60%, indicate an interest in tools that can help measure the impact. So that was last year. Is that in line with what you're seeing now among your customers? And are, are there any kind of other updates to that effect? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, one thing I think is probably true is that even among that, uh, that base of customers and the, the people that we... Uh, uh, or users, the people that we interviewed in that process, um, I'd actually be surprised if 31% of them were doing it really, really effectively. 
Um, you know, what we're seeing is there's a real trend um, of moving from measuring campaign success to measuring content efficacy. Uh, and the difference between those two things is, I think, is pretty clear. I mean, a campaign is kind of this bucket of things that you do when engaging with a, a prospect, and it's usually made up of multiple content touch points. Well, you know, if you have four content touch points and three of them are working great and one of them's working lousy, um, in effect, what you're going to find out is that you're going to think this campaign overall is a failure. Um, you know, the truth is, is though, if you can measure each one of the individual content, uh, you know, the effectiveness of each piece of content in that campaign, um, now you know what you need to go improve. So, you know, maybe my first three steps are great. My fourth step doesn't speak very well to the customer needs. We have a huge fall off there. If I know that, I can go improve that piece of content, understand what does apply to them at that point, and take it from there. It's kind of, uh, you know, if you think about, I've talked about this as a digital conversation. And if you think about this as a proxy for a salesperson speaking to a client on the other end or prospect on the other end, um, you know, when you're talking to that prospect, you know, a salesperson says something or he hears something from the client, he's able to react in any appropriate way. Um, and obviously that's something you lose when you're trying to do things through a more automated um, sort of programmatic uh, way. But measuring the individual piece of content is kind of where you get that feedback and it lets you actually say to yourself, you know, gee, did what I just say resonate with that customer or with that prospect? And if it did, uh, then, you know, you're going to be able to know the effect of that. And if it didn't, you're going to know where you need to go uh, work on it. So, you know, from our perspective, I think we're seeing a lot of people wanting to do this. We're seeing a lot of people really wanting to get into the nuts and bolts and truly understand um, exactly how content is working and um, exactly what pieces of content are working to achieve their overall uh, marketing and business objectives.